Moving out and now all eyes focus on the long holiday weekend. Kate, the hope, the hope is now for <laughs> some calmer weather to mark the, I guess, the unofficial end to summer. Yeah, can you believe wow. summer's coming to an end already? Simultaneously a fast summer and the longest summer we've ever had, thanks to, well, 2020. But the last weekend of the shore season, let's put it that way, looks like it's going to be a beautiful one. Labor Day weekend looking amazing. And it's mostly thanks to the front that came through tonight, which is going to usher in some drier, cooler air. You can see it's still looking pretty cloudy and steamy and murky outside in Philadelphia, even though the storms have moved on out. It's 78 degrees in the city right now with a dew point of 76. That means the air is nearly fully saturated. The winds are still out of the west southwest. It is still very sticky, but it's getting better and we're starting to see these storms move off the coast. So the good news is the severe thunderstorm warning has been allowed to expire. The heaviest storm is just about to push off the coast of Cape May. There's one more behind it, which is weakening here along the border of Kent and Sussex counties and likely we're not going to see any more severe thunderstorm warnings just finally seeing the last tail end of this storm move through the Delaware beaches but still a lot of rain and a lot of lightning but there's that severe thunderstorm warning which has now been canceled so there's nothing there at all. Future weather showing again these storms moving off the coast they will continue to dissipate overnight maybe a lingering shower but tomorrow we're going to have a good deal of sunshine any storms look to stay south and through the afternoon we're going to start to feel that drier air push in from the north and west. So any storms lingering off to the south will be ending tonight. 71 is the low. Tomorrow looks like a mostly sunny day. It is still slightly sticky. A few storms could move by to the south as our front finally clears the area, and that is going to usher in those drier winds from Canada. So 86 is the high, and by evening, it'll start to feel more comfortable, but still a bit steamy during the day. That said, it's a great beach day. It's a great pool day. Saturday, look at that dew point. 46 degree dew point this time of the year feels downright crisp almost fall like Sunday and Monday feeling good and then it does steam up again next week. So your Labor Day weekend headlines still sticky tomorrow, but very comfy Saturday. Great day to get outside. Sunday is nice and sunny and just a little warmer, but still sunny for Labor Day. Look at this stretch down the shore. Great beach day tomorrow at 87, 79 on Saturday, 80 on Sunday and full sunshine on Monday as well. And in the Poconos, almost a little fall feel, especially here on Saturday when the temperature may only get to 70 for the high, meaning some the 60s for most of the day. Great weekend for hikes, great weekend on the lake. It's a great weekend everywhere, including in the city. If you're staying put, seven day forecast looks fantastic. Mostly sunny on Friday, turning less humid by evening. Saturday and Sunday are gorgeous. Monday is gorgeous. Then it does get a little hotter Tuesday. Showers will likely creep back into the forecast by the middle of next week. But this is a stretch worth waiting for. It is going to be a great unofficial finish to the summer season. Yuki, back to you. I heard a couple of gorgeouses. Is that a gorgeous? A lot of gorgeouses. Gorgeous eye. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we'll go thanks. with that. <laughs> thanks.